Okay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Happy Sunday. It is just Bellbound here. Wow, that light is bright. Let's stop it. Okay. Well, now you can barely see me, but it is what it is. So hello, everybody. Welcome back to Witches of the Moon. It is season 13, week nine, and we are talking sorry about sex magic so my thoughts of this sorry i am looking at a really grainy picture and it stinks and wiping it obviously does nothing okay so my opinions about sex magic uh i think that it is they kind of goes hand in hand with blood magic for me it's something that is spectacularly important to make sure you do your research because not only are you using your own energy, you are using someone else's. And I think that it is easy to get excited about the idea because of the power that uh, comes with it, the energy kind of lift that goes with it. But I also, I urge everybody to go into it with caution because of the energy exchange and the use of energy. Uh, I think um, my belief is that if it is not the right person, you are opening yourself to somebody else's energy, which can be extremely dangerous in, um, you know, with certain people. And unfortunately, the way that it is, you don't want to open yourself up to any type of harmful energy. So if a person is not, uh, if your partner is not energetically in a good space, then it's probably not a good idea to do it. Yes, it can be great and wonderful and explosive and all of these really spectacular things. But at the end of the day, you're talking about your energy meeting with somebody else's. Uh, so if their intention is not aligned with yours, if they're, um, you know, if there's, you know, like, okay. I'm trying to say all of these things, but trying to do it in a nice way. So if, let's say if you are with someone who is a narcissist, that's not going to be good. It might work to fulfill whatever needs you're trying, but then you, you are using yourself as a, I'm trying to think of the right word you are using yourself as a vessel for their energy to come in so that you can then change the energy and use it for your own goal. I think I've explained that right. I'm not sure. Um, so if you are with somebody who, who is energetically draining, who is a narcissist, there's a, a the, the list can go on and on, right? Because we can, everybody has bad dates. If you are not in the right headspace to do this, if your partner is not in the right headspace to do it, it can truly backfire. So I think that any type of sex magic, like I said, it very much is up there with blood magic for me as far as the um, potential for danger or the potential to almost to make things worse than, than help anything. So I just urge everybody, like if that's something you're interested in doing with your partner, if you're at a place in your relationship with somebody to, to talk about, you know, working, uh, working the spell, using your energy to drive something. I think number one, you need to be open about it because I don't think that it is, I just don't think it's right for you to use somebody else's energies if they are not aware of it. And if they don't understand what you're asking and you don't take the time to explain to them, uh, I, I think that that is somewhat rude and intrusive to somebody else's energy. And also you have to be very aware of your own energy because not only are you it, it is a given it to take. So not only are you using somebody else's energies, but when those lines of energy, when those strings are attached, they're, they're going to flow 
there's going to be some, some backflow and they're going to also receive some of your energy. So make sure that you are choosing somebody wisely to, to do the sex magic with and that you are in a good space mentally and energetically to where you know that you are not going to leave any residue for them either. So I think it's very, very important for you to um, gauge that and be able to recognize that, that the importance of that. So while you might be looking at timing and uh, it, it might not always work out the way you want it to because it, it it's not necessarily you can fit into a time frame. It's great if it works, and if it doesn't work, it can be really bad, and it can create um, energetic bonds that you are unprepared for. Because I think, I think, sex anyway, aside from the magical aspect of it, I think sex it does create bonds with people, and it creates these energetic cords that we have with people because it's. it's you know, it's just something that can make those. So, you know, be safe for yourself, be safe for your partner and be upfront and be open. If you're not in a, if you're not in a relationship or, you know, a friendship, whatever it is where you decide to work, sorry, my, my dog is chewing on something. I'm pretty sure it's a fork. <laughs> um, if you are not in a spot where you can be open and talk to your partner about these types of things, then you probably shouldn't do it. That's my opinion anyway. So if you are going to go forth with the sex magic, then go for it carefully, as with everything else, I think, when you're talking about sharing energy. And, you know, enjoy it. It is when, when it's done right and when it's done with the right person, it can really add, add, that, add a major... Um, to your to your spell working, but also be um, be open enough to realize if it's not okay, if it's not right if it's not the right timing. So, all right, you guys, I will hopefully see you guys on Wednesday. Uh, fingers crossed that there are no issues coming this week, and we just roll into another easy one. All right, everybody, have a good night and blessed be.